Barstool Sports Advisor. America's premier sports information program with Dave El Prez Portnoy. Dan Big Cat Caps. And the source, Stu Finer. Barstool Sports Advisors, week two, welcome back, Sunday, Friday, whenever you're watching this, we are the Barstool Sports Advisors, we are back, guess what? What? Well, let me introduce everyone first, we got Dave, we got Stu, we got Hannah, and Tommy, guess what? What? 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 Today is the day. It's Barstool Sportsbook App Day. Yeah. It's Barstool Sportsbook App Day. Very exciting. We'll be in Philadelphia watching this. Yes. City of brotherly love, scumbags. But go download it right now. I don't know. I mean, go download it. We have to be very responsible in the gambling, but download it and bet a lot. But be responsible about it. Download it. Be responsible. Don't take my picks. I'm the worst gambler in the world. But you could fade me. You could fade me. Or you can just take my picks because I'm three years of dominance. Dave was fantastic uh, last week. Dave, you went... Five and three? No. Yeah. Uh, five? This is the record makes no sense. I, everything I told five, him to three, do. five three and one. Five what three it says. and I was one. Five and two. I think I've lost before. Before I've had a push. So I'm five three and one. I think is accurate. That's a slow start for me, but I'll take it. That's a slow start for you. I started very slow. Two six and one. Uh, no, but these pushes. I don't know what he did with this. I had a conversation with him, and I think everything that I told him, he just didn't listen Stu, to. Stu, big first week. You're too. off and running one and four. Hey, at least I won one game. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, yes. No, Stu's I on fire. Slow. I'm a slow starter. What I would say, though, the key to the Barstool app and the key word you want to know is... Responsibly. But all you millionaires and billionaires out there really... That'll get cut. Reload. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into week two. Week one was fantastic. Football is all the way back. It feels real. Week two, great slate. We'll get to the Sunday night game. Dave, you have a little Patriots Seahawks Sunday night action. But before we do that, let's start with Falcons Cowboys. Cowboys morning, minus four and a half. Over under is 52 and a half. Look at this. Ready for this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the fast turf. Was it fast and they just stink? It was fast. You, I, well, let's be honest. If I pulled up my phone right now and I don't want to scroll through it, you sent me a text two seconds into the game and goes, fast turf. Fast Look turf. how fast the turf yes. is. Dion's an Dave. idiot. How fast. Dave. They didn't score the rest of the game. Dave, the first play, they ran a screen. I've never seen linemen run as fast as they did. <laughs> it was incredible. I, when I got that text. I just I forget what I was doing. I just got back. I was out all day. I assume there are at least 28 points no. on the board in the no. mid first no. quarter. It was seven nothing. It was a screen for 12 like yards. Three minutes left in the first. Yeah, it was a screen it was for 12 yards. Pace. Yeah, but it was fast. Uh, Hank, can everyone else can attest that looked fast. The turf looked fast. But I'm sorry, nonetheless, I screwed you. This is my apology. Okay, well, okay, I own it. Hand up. I screwed up. All right. Cowboys more, minus four and a half over under is 52 and a half. Dave, what are you going to do? So you guys both had the Falcons last week, I believe. Uh, they yes, we stink. Mm -hmm. They no, absolutely mm -hmm. stink. And, and it's a ringing indictment in how you guys watch football, to be mm -hmm. totally honest. It's almost like you haven't watched it. And I saw them. That hurt. I tuned in. And by the way, where'd they struggle? The Falcons in the red zone. Mm -hmm. I saw it. Exactly. And they always struggle in the red yeah. zone. They stink. They're one of the worst teams in the NFL. Cowboys had a tough loss. They will bounce back. They will win this game. Two touchdowns easy. This is frighteningly easy. The only thing that gives me pause is how easy it is. I will stick, though, with the Cowboys because the Falcons stink. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Um, firm but fair. Really stupid pick on our part. Stupid. Stupid. Dumb. Stu. I mean, oh. you're, you're, you, I don't know. You are so shockingly bad <laughs> on this show. At the beginning. Shockingly. Well, well yeah, listen. Well. You're only as bad as you last week, and I was 20%. Correct. But, but I, did, I did go 2 and one on the board, but the people that paid me, your clientele that paid and me. And here we go. 2-1. 2-1. <laughs> so Rams outright. Redskins outright. 
and I lost with Arizona. Mm-hmm. So two and one's not terrible, right? No, you pay me sixty nine bucks, right. you make those, money. Those picks two and we one. have no access, right? To, but it's comes out right. Show that we track. You are the worst of all yeah. time. And Clippers minus seven and a half. We have access to that. That was the worst pick of all time. You get no, no. a phone call. Simply the worst pick of all time. Well, Butler. No, no. Can, can yeah. I? No, he actually. Can I profess Butler. death said, on the show? Or is Butler, that which I should have known was the well, that's a loser. Right. Exactly. Uh, shame on you. I, no, shame on me. What is that fool me once? Shame on me. This was worse than Butler. Shame on you. Don't get fooled. No. Reverse. Yes. Reverse those and flip it. All right. It's like when I call Dave up and I say, Dave, that I have 500000 He goes, Stu, I don't listen to you. Yes. No. Well, what does that mean? Stu. Uh, Stu, I've been burnt once. I don't listen to you. All right, let's go right here. I'm supposed to give the pick, right? Can yes, give, give a pick. pick. Dallas Cowboys I have to represent the NFC in the Super Bowl, and losing to the Rams did not um, get me off of that. They look great. Rams played a phenomenal game. I like the Cowboys in this game. Um, this should be like a 41 13 game. 41 13. If the score is not exact, what are you going to do? What? But 41 13 lay four and a half. That's the over, 41 13. Oh, really? Yes. Well, I'm not using the over. I'm only using the Cowboys. Okay. Uh, you. Did you Thank guys you. plan this, by the way? No, we just look great. Great minds traveling I, I, some I couldn't have more been more disgusted when I saw you. I, to think that he would be wearing maroon. <laughs> This maroon suit is strange. I went to the Breeders' Cup with Elio. We don't plan it. We never knew. Ron Burgundy. Us, neither of us had ever wore maroon. We both wore it. You, Ron you and baby. you wore maroon as a change, like as a change-up match. Yeah, because you're like no chance he correct. has maroon. The, the, I don't I, like to break out the maroon till Thanksgiving. I love maroon. I feel like it's very. Festive. I look thinner. When what people said Dude. last week is we both were stunning, and I looked thinner and richer. Sitting next to you, so I'm gonna try to color coordinate every week. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pay some. You're you're a big enough pervert where I wouldn't put it past you having like cameras in my apartment. He's a pervert. I would listen. I do do those sloppy seconds all day, twice on Sunday, David. Don't don't promise me a bad. Don't promise me a good time, buddy. Stu Cuties fire. Sloppy sloppy his sloppy thirds. See, this is why. By the way, we tried this show. This show was getting ready to air on TV in Philadelphia and Pittsburgh, and they said no curse words, no nothing. We're like, all right, we're out. It's actually said, quote, no perverts. <laughs> so, Stu's I'm not, not a alive. pervert. Yeah, well, no, I'm a, a sexual being. You're a pervert. No, I'm not a pervert. I think because I, a pervert <laughs> means something wrong. I'm just sexual. <laughs> well, love lesbian wrong. porn. <laughs> women love me. I love women. 15, 15, 30. I don't know what the problem is here. You're a pervert. No, I'm not. Okay. Still, you're a pervert. Tommy, <laughs> go ahead. That's not true. Give us a stat. Um, this is actually the Cowboys' first home opener, not against the Giants since 2014, and you oh. might want to take them. Atlanta is 9 and 17 against the spread on the road over the past three years, second worst mark in the NFL behind only the Jets. Okay. So I told myself after last week, a debacle of a week, to not do the double bet games. Don't do the double bet games. Because when you go, Dave, you know it. When you go 0 2 in a game, it just kills you. It, it, it is make or break when you do it. If you win, you're guaranteed a good week. If you lose, it, it, it's guaranteed six bad weeks. Yes, it is bad. So what I'm going to do for game one is I'm going to double bet the game. I like that. Okay, so I have the Cowboys minus four and a half, and I have over 52 Third and point. a half. Oh! 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 Unfortunately, the quake didn't kill the pervert. Let's go to the next game, though. We have Rams at Eagles. Eagles plus one and a half, over under 46. Stu, I would go to you first, but I want to hear Dave Portnoy rant about Carson Wentz. Well, I mean, the entire city has now given up on him. They're calling for the backup. They're calling for Jalen Hurts. When you're calling calling for Jalen Hurts, that's a problem. Our guy Smitty personally ran Nick Foles out of town, and we'll be in Philadelphia for this game. And i got to tell you, the fact that the Eagles lost to the Washington Lincolns, I'm calling the Lincolns because that's going to be the name of the team, is stunning. They went out to a big lead. But Carson Wentz, you can say whatever you want. The guy holds on to the football. He doesn't see the field. He makes bad decisions. I'm going to root for him here. I Listen. I want Philadelphia to be good. We're going to be in the city of brotherly love. They are scumbags. Um, we got an open invite, by the way, to watch at Angelo's. They have an upstairs, the best pizza in the city. Oh, Shout out yes. to that guy. We will put on so much weight. The food's amazing. So i got to take the Eagles here, and I'm going to take them also. Hungry dog runs faster. Always. Rams coming off an emotional win. By the way, Sean McFay just not wearing a mask. That's, that's worth 14 points. Yeah. He just yeah. didn't wear the mask. He's a man's man. Just didn't wear the mask. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, who does? And, and on the other side, McCarthy was wearing a mask that he looked like Bane. It was mm-hmm. so tight on his face. Mm-hmm. Hungry dog runs. This is the season for Philadelphia. If they don't win this game, they're done. Are you worried at all 
Kind of like when you go on a, you know when you go on a boat all day and then you come back on land and you got that little buckle oh, in your knee? Legs, yeah. Going from cool. the fast turf in LA to Philadelphia. For the ramps? Yeah. No, yeah, listen, I, this is just simply the, the strategy that has gotten me where I have been three years in a row with the best handicapper in the world. And that's the Hungry Dog Runs Fast. The Eagles faster. need this win. The season is done, so yep. Rams feel good, so I'll take the Eagles. Uh, Hannah, what is the weather going to be like in Philadelphia, where we will be on Sunday? Beautiful city. It's perfect weather in Philadelphia. Oh. It's going to be nice, crisp oh. air, 64 degrees. Um, and Dave, actually to comment on the suit thing, last year the three of us matched. Remember? Oh. The and burgundy? Yes. Mm. I wore a, mar a maroon dress, and Stu wore the suit, and you wore the suit. Story time it's with Hannah. It's the lucky. Wow. Oh, yeah. Story time with Hannah. Love He's it. Back. All right, back. Tommy. What did you think about that story? Uh, it was fantastic. <laughs> uh, Kat, you mentioned fact. the slow turf in Philadelphia. Really slow, actually. The under is hit in seven straight Eagles home games and 17 of 20. Well, that's because Carson Wentz stinks. Yeah. I, uh, I like... I'm going to say my pick before Stu because I actually like... Who's going to block Aaron Donald? Who's going to block Aaron Donald? Exactly. It's going to be another 10 sacks. Right. Exactly. But you don't know what I'm doing. I'm going another double. Under 46 in the Eagles. Ha <laughs> ha! See? I have four picks already. I, I have four picks already. We're, ten, we're five minutes into the show. I got four picks. Tommy, where's your jacket? It was stolen, and I'm launching a full-scale investigation. Mm. Your jacket was stolen. Well, I, I leave it on my desk every single week. I have nowhere else to wear it, and oh, it just God. wasn't there today. So what you're saying is like when you go to school, and you don't have your homework, and you lie to the teachers saying they didn't do the homework, you left your jacket at home. <laughs> is that what you're saying, Tom? No, but it's always No, no, here. Tom, uh, is that what you're saying? I, no. All right, so for the record, you're lying. Yes. Okay, thank you. No, I, just want to, I just want to make that point. Uh, now, Stu, go ahead. Yeah, okay, now, first of problem. all, first of all, if you've noticed, second half of the season last year into this week, the Rams are the best team in the NFL against the spread. They're firing on all cylinders here. Now, the, they did play a poor game in the Super Bowl against the Patriots. They could not score. But they're over that hangover right now, and they're going to make some noise here. This game's around. The Eagles could not get a first down in the second half. I mean, Carson Wentz is garbage going against both of them. I love the Rams. Love them. Oh. Love them. Love them. Oh. Oh. I, was getting, I, was getting ready. I don't like them. I love them. Wow. So, so, so you, we, we saw your cheat sheet, and you circled the Eagles. Well, that, I didn't know that. That's not like, I, when I circle, it means nothing. Good. <laughs> don't, don't, don't think the circles Good. are there. Grab the sheet. Grab yeah, the sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, because I'm, try, I'm trying there. to wear your colors is, to get the, the, to get the wins. I, I was actually <laughs> getting ready to switch picks. We saw it, and Dan was like, oh, no. I said, oh, no, because, look, he has the eagle circle. I have girls. <laughs> but it means nothing. I have girls' numbers on that. Folks. And I got... Oh, oh please don't it means girls, nothing. Please. Also, please. you'll be hearing more uh, the Barstool Sportsbook. This will be a double juice game. Yeah. So for all you Eagle fans, if you bet the Eagles, 500 max, that's fine. You get plus 200. Woo! No brainer. Woo! I will be on that. So, uh, next game, Chiefs at Chargers. Chargers plus 8.5, over under 47.5. Fast turf. Fast turf, fast turf. We're out in L.A. Beautiful stadium, by the way. Gorgeous. Just just a gorgeous stadium. Uh, Tommy, give us a stat for this game. This is the biggest number the Chargers have been an underdog at at home since November 28th, 1998. But as the great Dave Portnoy would say, don't throw, don't think, just throw, nuke Lelouch. Against the spread, the Chiefs are 11-1 in their past 12 games, 10-3 in the last 13 against the Chargers, and 23-4 and in their last 27 mm -hmm. against the AFC West. Mm -hmm. The Chiefs are. Mm -hmm. The Chiefs are. Yeah. I, listen, I'll start. It's Chiefs here. It's Chiefs here. Don't get yourself twisted. Tyrod Taylor is not a good quarterback. Just take the Chiefs. T-Mobile? T-Mobile, not a good quarterback. Take the Chiefs and don't even think about it. And take the over that six picks. I have six picks already. Six picks already. Six picks. Okay, Dave. Can I, can I uh, pass my spin to Stu? Yes, Stu. Actually, pass to Hannah. Hannah, what's the weather in L.A.? It's, it's a dome. It's a dome. Um, just do you want the weather? Yeah. Okay, still. Yeah. Wait, when's the last time you got dome? Oh. <laughs> Hannah's a pervert as well. <laughs> Everyone's a pervert. It's Whoa. going to be 80 and sunny, but it was a question. Okay. Because you always give me jokes about the dome. The dome. And I'm going to give it back. Okay, that was, uh, wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No wonder <laughs> we didn't get on. Yeah, this show is never getting on TV. Uh, Stu. 
Um, Stu is horny now, just I, so everyone knows <laughs> the idea of a I'm, dome. I'm not horny, I'm hungry though. I had okay. five bagels this morning. <laughs> five. Not one, not two, not three, not four. Five bagels. It's not mentally wrong with me. I love you, carbs. I love you, but you don't love me. All right, I'm going to lay the number with the cheese. I don't want to. I like to be a home underdog guy. I like to be an underdog guy. But the Kansas City Chiefs are so prolific on offense that fourth quarter, eight minutes left, they score 21 points. Similar to how they won the Super Bowl. Should have won the Super Bowl. Got outplayed for 53 minutes in the game. But this Chief game and the Chief team is a juggernaut. I think the Chargers are garbage. Top five worst team in the NFL. Even if it's a tight game and it's a backdoor cover, Chiefs win by 10. Mm. Mm. Like it. So that's why I passed it. Uh, this is a game I had no opinion on going on. I will say I disagree with a lot of people. I think I saw you, Dan. I love the Chargers uniforms. Oh, I didn't like the yellow pants. So they have better uniforms. They, they, uh, the yellow put pants out... is like Chandler when he got carried off the field. Oh, I love the yellow I didn't, pants. I, if you go yellow pants, you got to go powder blues. Oof. All right, anyways, uh, after listening to everybody here, you've made my pick. It does seem easy. The Chiefs seem like the play. I think this is a walk, uh, a sleepwalk game for the Chiefs. I will take uh, the points of the Chargers based on you two thinking it's so easy to take the Chiefs. So mm -hmm. that, that's, that's I hate where being a target. That's a loser for no, you. No, I hate being a target. No, no, I don't loser. think I think it's a winner because I, I hate you guys have been on the same side. You lose. So no big time and I don't like the pick. I hate the pick. That's what makes this the man in the suit pick of the day. Mm. I hate the pick. That's a loser. Mm. That's a loser. Well, I'm like 70% in two years, so we'll see. All right. Uh, we'll be back in a second. We have two more games, and we're going to get to our mortal locks. Barstool Sports Advisors. Be advised. Go down the Barstool Sportsbook app right now. Back after this. At this point in the game, it's That's impossible. Insane. There's only a handful of moves left. Grip it and rip it. This is uh -oh. for John Daly. Oh my. Oh! oh! The unbelievable has just happened inside Stool Street Stadium! It's getting to that time. It's gift giving season. And if you're gonna give the best gift, get over to BeLikeStew.com. All my merchandise, sweatshirts, hoodies, still t-shirts, you got flags, you got towels, you got my book. You wanna read about my entire life? BeLikeStew.com book. Listen, here we go. Get over to BeLikeStew.com. Over a hundred items are available right now for you to purchase. Again, ready to roll. Let's do it. Wear my merch. Feel like a king. Let's do it. My book, my flags, my towels. BeLikeStew.com. Barstool Sports Advisors, we are back. Go download the Barstool Sport. Go download the Barstool Sportsbook app right now. I don't know why I can't say the word download, but you gotta download it. You gotta download it. We'll be in Philadelphia. We'll be gambling all weekend. Pennsylvania. You gotta be in Pennsylvania to play real money. We chose that state. We love Pennsylvania, Dan Marino. Yes. If you want to just download it though. You can just download it. You can and get just it download it. Us. If you want, if you're not in Pennsylvania, you can also download the Play Barstool app. Someone there was how many people went 10 for 10? 13. 13 people went 10 for 10. $25,000 free. Uh, okay. Ravens at Texans. Texans plus seven. Over under is 51 and a half. Tommy, give us a stat to start. Look, you might think this is a big number for the Ravens to cover on the road, but they were road favorites of six and a half points or more four times last year. They covered all four games and won by an average of 27 points per game. I didn't think that it's a big number. So well, some would say the Texans are a good team, Deshaun Watson. Don't put thoughts are in my head. Are the Texans a good team? No. And TBD. TBD. That's what kids say, to be determined. Yes. No. Uh, Stu, go ahead. You go. Again, I'm going to bump my trend here. I love home underdogs. I would normally be all over the Texans oh, in this game. God. But as you're seeing, the Ravens, again, like the Chiefs, Fourth quarter, they just don't stop. They're a juggernaut offensively, offensively. And football is so offensive right now that you just lay this number. I mean, Ravens, again, even if they play the worst game possible, they win by 10 points. Lay the seven all day, twice on Sunday. Lamar Jackson. 
I saw Dave just circle the team, and now I'm officially, I want an, uh, an alert put right here. Officially, I'm worried about my card. I felt good about my card. I am worried about my Sunday card. Well, was, All these pits are going to lose. Let, let me tell you what happened there, Dan. And I, I've been in this business, this racket, long enough, and I hear my man to the left, who, who is a documented the worst handicapper we've ever mm -hmm. encountered on earth. Mm -hmm. And I hear him say, I generally like the home dogs, but I'm going to go against a strategy that I've built my entire livelihood on, but this week I'm just going to ignore it. Well, I know enough to know, when you go against what you built your foundation on, that will come up to bite you in the ass. So I had no opinion on it, but when I heard Stu, again, the worst handicapper we've ever encountered, say, I'm going to ignore what I generally do, guess what? I'll do what you normally do, and I'll cash that ticket. So I will take the Texans plus the points of the home dog as Stu goes away from his strategy, and it eats his face off. Mm. <laughs> First four weeks of the season, favorite oh. color like butter. It's ridiculous. You don't need to know nothing. Just lay numbers. Mm -hmm. I Hate am. It. Hate it. This is terrible. I made an adjustment. I felt so confident going into this show, and my card is already a mess. But I'm taking the Ravens. I'm taking the Ravens Perfect. minus seven. I hate, 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 hate. But now, do I hate my card so much that it's good? We no. We yeah. are, we are going down the same path we have gone down the last two years, where you two join hands. I go against you, and I make money, and you two are idiots. I am that little the little rat that they to feed hear what Stu just, and I just said. Like, chee, chee, chee. Well, the first four <laughs> weeks, to hear what cover. Stu just said. And then to be like, yep, I'm going to go with that. I'm laying it. I don't I'm let you affect my pick, Dave. Well, I got my own brain. that bad. He should affect your pick. I got my own brain. But yes, I will. I, I take offense to it being bad that I am just a mouse that keeps eating the cheese. I will keep it eating that cheese because the cheese looks delicious. So what if it snaps my head off and my neck is dangling and I'm dead? The cheese was worth it. I'll keep eating that cheese. All right. I love, I love cheese, by the way. Yeah, I love cheese, too. I love too. chopped cheddar. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, most perverts do. Gouda. Uh, all right, Sunday Night Football. Sunday Night Football, Patriots at Seahawks. The new look, New England Patriots. Cam Newton running it for 15 times last Sunday. Josh McDaniels has that going. Russell Wilson, early MVP candidate. He was phenomenal, phenomenal. against the Falcons. Phenomenal. Let Russ cook is now happening. The Seahawks are minus four. The over-under is 45. Let's start with the weather. Let's see how it's going to be in usually rainy Seattle. And then Hannah... Kick it to Tommy, and Tommy, kick it back to us. Okay, so they do not have a dome, correct? No so dome. So this weather does matter. It's an evening game, so it's going to be a little chilly. It's mm. going to be 67 and cloudy in Seattle on Sunday. Tommy, mm. can I get a stat? You can. Look, everybody loves talking about Seattle at home, unbeatable. They're actually 2-7 and seven against the spread in their last nine home games. Also, no fans this Sunday night. Yeah, the Maybe no not. fans thing would be the important part. Well, it, no, they're both important, I would yeah, say. Yeah, but the trend's home in a way right now. Well, I mean, it's still no traveling. Okay, home right, I right. think a lot of, you know, the public thinks they're at home. They're unbeatable there. Well, apparently not. What do you mean? They're two and you seven against stat? the spread in their last nine games. Right, there's a stat. All right. I said that. Stu, because you're not going to give a pick. Just say whatever you got to say. Okay, well, I guess I'm the Sunday Night King, and I've established that on this show, okay? <laughs> the key game, the money game. Like I gave you the Rams last week. Stealing money. I gave you the Redskins outright over the Eagles, stealing money. And it was part of my three $10,000 dime best bets that, again, I'm going to use here. I'm going to give you the Sunday night game as a best bet. I'm going to give you two more games as a best bet. Last week we went 2-1. and oh, uh, two and one. Let's go 3-0. and oh. Only for $69. Get over to StuFinder.com. Not 1000 not 500 not 250 69 Favorite position. Favorite number. Very affordable. $69. 3 0, stewfinder.com, stewfinder.com, stewfinder.com. I'm not a pervert, by the way. Not a pervert, but say hi to your mom. All right. I'm not going to ask any follow up questions. I'm not going to walk back into that trap. Dave, give us your take on this game. Well, first, I'd like to just give King Creme cheese a shout out. That's by far the best cheese that's a spread. Uh, well, Listen, I told you what would happen with the Patriots. I actually said Cam Newton uh, has a chance to be the MVP of the league, and I still believe that. And, and I want to give a special shout-out to Bill Belichick because I don't think he gets enough credit for being such a versatile coach. There's nobody in the league. He plays to his talent. So all of a sudden, change everything you've done, and you have this monster, Cam Newton. You can't stop him. He's running 5, 10 yards to pup. It was, I had a tear rolling down my eye because it's so great to be a Patriot fan. Now, this is the week. We go into Seattle. Very good team. Very good team. But we beat them 
in Seattle and all of a sudden everybody goes, holy shit, the Patriots are back. They're the team that you're going to beat. That's where the Lombardi Trophy belongs. So I love the Pats in this game. We shock the world. We win this game. And by the way, we had 13 guys, I think, not on defense who have opted out. We look like the 85 Bears. I mean, come on. I love this team. Ryan I Fitzpatrick. I love... Dan. Ryan Fitzpatrick is bad. Dan. I'm just saying. Fitz Magic, early season, is maybe the greatest quarterback to ever put on a helmet. Sometimes not so much. Best quarterback to ever put on a helmet ever? in the in the month of September. Okay. Will somebody get those stats, see. Tommy. Listen. I love the paths here. Are you gonna sprinkle? Money line? Yeah. Probably will. Yeah, you kinda Probably have to. Probably will. You kinda have Probably to. Probably will. You have to. Probably will. I think you should. Sprinkle it. Just a little salt bay it. You know? A little sprinkle. All right. I don't like that guy, Salt Bay. No, you know what? He's a he's a fucking asshole because he he's never like eats a good the steak. Chef or something. He eats the steak. He's, like he is a good chef, but I don't know. I guess just is something. he though? No, he's not. I heard he's like a good chef. No, he can just grill. Everyone can grill. No, I think he's a legit good no, chef. He's, no, legit he's chef. not a good chef. I think he is. A he's legit got sharp good knives chef. and he can grill. Well, I got sharp knives. I can't really cook. Yeah, but you can grill. Oh, I'll grill the fuck out of right. That you boil water. You know who can't grill? Who? Oh. Sales guy. Can't grill. Really? Can't grill. Gas can't grill. grill? Can't do anything. He's an incompetent <laughs> child. Beta He'll me, come to my man. house, he, I'll buy all the stuff, and then he expects me to make him like a hot dog because he can't can't even turn a grill on. Oh, my God. And then he'll sleep till noon on college football Saturday. Unbelievable. Wow. Where wow. you at, dude? I'm having conversations with the entire social team. Oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> Snoozing. And lose it. That's why that video of when the Penn stock's going up, the rock video, and whoever made put him crowd surfing is my favorite. That's all he does. He's permanently <laughs> crowd surfing. I noticed that part. <laughs> He's permanently crowd surfing here. All right. I also will take the Patriots plus four. Not going to sprinkle. And I like the under. I think this is the, the, the you're right, Dave. The Patriots adjusting, doing what they do. They're going to play bully ball, control the clock, play some defense, under 45. I love it. I love it. So Patriots plus four, under 45. All right. We're going to get to our mortal locks in a minute. What? Greg Olson's hair. It's gone. <sighs> Why would and you I, say that? I love Greg, but he's on Seahawks now. Man. He, he, he's a friend. He's a he's long He's such a good looking friend. guy. So he hasn't nice. transitioned to be a hat guy when the helmet's off, but he has to be. The quick switch? Yeah, he got a, 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 our friend. Yeah, Blake Bortles used to do the quick switch. No one's better. Uh, Say something nice about Greg Olson. He, he, he's back in his prime. He was the best looking man I've ever seen. Oh, I was going to say huge cock. Third leg Greg. He doesn't like us talking about that. I know, but I, I mean. That's, talking about perverts. You're gonna, I'm going to give you that. Hello. Third leg Greg. Pervert Third alert. Greg. Pervert alert. Pervert alert. Pervert alert. Third leg Greg. Greg Olson's cock. Shout out to me? the seventh floor crew. Jesus. He does, he does not really like us. the greatest rap song of all time. Olson? does not Let like us talking about the seventh floor <laughs> no. crew, but I hope it makes it into don't, the video. Don't. Whatever you do, don't. Don't tag don't him. Look at, don't tag him. He's don't man look of the at that year. video. Three-time losers. Runner-up. Three-time runner-up. Man of the year. No one's ever lost a runner-up more than Greg. Great guy. lost man of the year more than Greg Olson. I think he gets right to the finals, and then they do the final leg research, and boom, seven four. Either like, oh, the seven four crew, you're too good looking. Sorry, you don't win. Yeah, runner up, the greatest second place man of the year of all time. Dynasty, Buffalo Bills, a man of the year. Yeah, yeah, he is. I, I, I love Greg. I love. Maybe my favorite athlete he's ever encountered. Huge cock. I'll be back right after this. More man of the year. Up. Man of the year. Runner up. That she was getting <laughs> fucked yeah. on the seven flow. No, oh, yeah, yeah. If that bitch only knew that she was getting muddied by the whole crew. You got a bunch of gambling options out there, a bunch of gambling companies. The only one that was founded by gamblers, Barstool Sports. Bet, 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 bet. We know what makes it tick because it makes me tick. Shut up! <laughs> We're authentic gamblers. I eat, sleep, gamble. We created gambling. Good morning! We got a follow! This is a company filled with people who love sports gambling just like us. Download the Barcelona Sportsbook app. Gamble with the real gamblers. Win with us. Lose with us. No, win with us. Ready to roll!
ready to roll, ready to roll. Listen, who's the Sunday Night King? Who owns Sunday Night NFL football? Your source, your source, your source. Last week gave you the Rams easy money over the Cowboys. How about in my 3-0 package for just $69? Also gave you the Washington Redskins outright over the Philly Eagles. So you paid me $69. You went 2-1, two, two best bets. Now listen, always bet responsibly. Be responsible. But listen, let's go. Three winners, three burials, three blowouts, only $69. Get over to StuBunny.com. The Sunday night best bet. Two more winners, two and one last week. Let's go three and all this week. Let's hit our second straight Sunday night game. StuBunny.com. 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 MrResponsible.com. It's that time of the week, Mortal Locks. We're ready to go, Mortal Locks. Barstool Sports Advisors, go download the Barstool Sportsbook app right now. We're gonna have all our Mortal Locks in there, ready to go. Also, I'm gonna have my Can't Lose Parlay in there, and it cannot lose, and the odds are, are boosted to plus 400. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow. It cannot lose, Dave. <clears throat> the name says it right there. Can't Lose Parlay. Stu, your Mortal Lock. Okay. Uh my motor lock last week was the J-E-T-S suck, suck, suck. So whoa, 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 like whoa. Time yet. out, time out, time out. You picked the Jets? And listen, if they didn't turn the ball over in the fourth quarter, we would have beat the Bills outright, by the yeah. way, playing the no. worst game possible. No. The worst game possible. No. The worst game possible. Be that as it may, I'm going to lay the nine with Tennessee here playing Jacksonville. Um, they can win by 50. Name the score, name the venue, name the place. Let's roll. My mortal lock, and this is a mortal lock, a human lock, is Tennessee Titans. What is wrong with you, Stu? You never take favorites like this. I'm laying it. You're laying points left and right this week. Yes. Scary times, scary times. This is the end of times. I don't care about the pandemic. I don't care about the wildfires. The true end of times is Stu Finer laying nine points in week two. All right, that's your mortal lock. Dave, uh, your mortal lock. Yeah, you know, I wanted to be in the is swimming with the Dolphins right here. I, if you haven't figured it out, I, I have a very clear strategy when I bet on NFL football. And even though these are Dolphins, and by the way, there was a video the other day, and I knew I had to get in on the Dolphins, where they were jumping in the ocean. It was beautiful as nature. Dolphins is as close to a human as you get. They like to have sex. They like to be touched. They like to have fun. They like to laugh. Pervert alert. That's a fact. Pervert I just alert. National Geographic to. Pervert alert. Pervert alert him. No. Yeah. That was an absolute factoid. I just talking about. Well, who doesn't like to have sex would be the question. <laughs> Pervert alert. <laughs> well, like an ant doesn't know what's going on. Oh, ants fuck. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They're, how do you make new ants? They're in, how do you make new ants? The queen. She fucks. <laughs> she gets fucked. She gets bukkakied. <laughs> pervert. <laughs> That's a pervert. When you use that word, that's a pervert. That's a pervert word. For the record, my aunt on my mother's side was no. hot as fuck. No, I don't want to hear, hear it. Anyways, back to the back to the case at hand here. Here's what we know. A hungry dog runs faster in the NFL. The Dolphins came in and they got their butts kicked by the Patriots. Patriots are a Super Bowl team. So that loss isn't as bad. The Bills, who I love, and I love Josh Allen. Everybody knows I love Josh Allen. He, uh, the Bills coming off a huge win. Everyone's singing their praises. Guess what? This game will be very, very close. Think about it. Close your eyes and think about Buffalo, Miami. Always a slugfest. Mm. And slugfest may be not the right word. Always close. The Dolphins keep this thing close. They may win it. We had Tommy look up at half them. Ryan Fitzpatrick, his only winning record in the month of September. Like I said, Dolphins come out. They, I think they win this game. I think they shock the world. I love Ryan Flores as well. So here's the Dolphins, 2-0 on my mortals. And uh, these balloons, we didn't really get the full costume. But it is a very color, pretty color blue. Mm, it is. Delicious color of blue. All right, my mortal lock, I am going back to what I know. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to what I know. I got one. You see this? You see this, Dave? These are the overguns. I can't see. I can't see. I got see. two. I got two <laughs> overguns. I got the Carolina Panthers, Big Dick Teddy, going to Tampa Bay. Huge cock. They can't play defense. Tom Brady's got the get right game over 47 and a half. That's easy. And then I have the Detroit Lions who are banged up. Mitch Trubisky just torched them, going to Green Bay, over 49 in that. That's double over, two I overs for the mortal lock. There's a legitimate chance. I just got a paper cut on the bridge of my nose. 
Legitimate. That's chance. it. That's it. Barstool Sports Advisors. Go download the Barstool Sports Shout out to my Aunt Sally. We'll be live all Sunday. Shout out to Aunt Sally. Watch us. Watch us and, all and, Saturday, and, too. And, and remember here, and very listen very closely. Dan's can't miss parlay, plus 400, Dan boosted on. If Dan, that's Dave. a lot of pressure. Dave. My mortal lock, which I just gave out, plus double odds, plus 200. These are all max 500 bets. You can take the Dolphins. You can take the Eagles and the Steelers. That's for you, Pennsylvania. And then the Hanson... Have we explained the hands nope, in yet? No, don't say that. Bleep that out. There's a new bet coming. New bet coming. Also, it's a can't lose, Dave. It cannot lose. Not the can't miss. These are odds you'll only find in Pennsylvania on the Barstool Sports. New bet coming on Sunday. We're going to announce it late Saturday night. Can I say something else? Yeah. Even if you never gamble in your life, download the app. Why? Because it makes us look good. Mm, absolutely. Look good, feel good. Be responsible. Be responsible. Reload. Cut that. See you next week.